All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Tesco Thunder M 60 amp hour battery. If you watched the last video, I have not charged it since we did our review video on here. The mileage differed from here. I never reset my phone, so we do have 11.7 miles on this bike because when we left off on the last video, we we're at like 11 miles, but then I had a couple streets to go down before I got home. So 11.7 miles. We're going to take it to work today. We're going to see how the lights look. I also brought my little beacon light from electric and yeah, we're just going to have a good time and uh, try not to get ran over today. So uh, let's just get out there and start roaming around. All right, let's get out of this neighborhood, get on some busy streets, might take some shortcuts and uh, I'm ready to have a very good time. I'm feeling a lot better after getting out of the hospital. I've been trying to change my diet a little bit still been eating like a little bit of bad stuff but i've cut a lot of it out i haven't had an energy drink since so i'm excited to finally be out here and just having a good time like right now i'm gonna take one shortcut already here we go baby quick little shortcut right here Woo! they have some charging ports right here man i want to start charging my car over here but every time i come station is disabled why do they put these things in here they have spider webs on them they never get used those things have been installed probably over a year ago. Come on, let's get it together, Fresno. I would love to start charging my car there. I mean, Tesla stations are obviously faster, but this is literally right down the street from my house. I would just come over here and start charging my car. And another thing, if you guys want to start charging your bikes at those uh, charge point locations, it's very simple. You just have to get a 220 volt charger. I don't know if this, uh, this battery charger has it. I'd have to go back on the video image that I took of it and see if it's actually 240 capable. Because if it is, then you'd have to get the J177 plug, the adapter, and you're good to go. And then you could just charge it at any uh, charge location. But keep in mind, it still only goes as fast as what your charger will do. So if it only is an 8 amp charger, it's only going to charge at 8 amps. Let's get across this road safely. Let's not die today. I got some protective gloves on from Alpine Star, and I got the Beyond Riders jacket on, the reflective line. So if anything happens, and this is great, I'm not trying to go through a bunch of water and get all wet. I am not trying to be at work being all soaking wet and smell like a wet dog, uh -uh. But keep in mind, it is gonna start raining here soon, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I don't know how that's gonna work. It's gonna be foggy as well. Hey, some free tires. So I'm not really looking forward to when that comes because I feel like it's just gonna be like, man, I don't know. The videos were bad when it starts getting foggy and misty and it's hard to see. I really want to do a Christmas tree lane video where we go down Christmas tree lane riding uh, one of the bikes. It'd probably be the Talari or the Suron, probably the Suron or the Super 73 now that I think about it because I need a bigger battery. I'm not going to transport the bike over there. But something like this, the Tesco Thunder M with the 60 amp hour battery, this will definitely make it over there. Now that I actually think about it, I think this bike's going to be gone anyway before Christmas tree lane. So. Uh, we got to get ready for like other stuff coming up. We got the G-Force bike that we have to review. That's still been sitting in my garage for at least a month and a half now. That's going to be the next bike we review after this. And then I'm still waiting for the GTX model from Rave. I haven't heard anything. They were working on getting me a color of a bike that one was out of stock and it's been a mess. So I reached out to him the other day. I'm like, hey, what's going on with that bike? And then I have a special bike coming up for you guys as well from rumble motors and i don't want to fully ruin exactly what it is but it's going to be pretty sick that's all i got to say but there's some things going on with that too people are getting sick and you know i was in the hospital so there's a lot of bad things going on lately i'll say that but for the most part every day is a good day when you get to ride an electric bike and just get out there and have a blast and just enjoy just chilling just cruising just seeing the stuff like look at that 5.0 mustang pretty clean i like the brake light he has on the bottom of it that's pretty dope i wanted to do the same thing to my tesla and put a brake light back there but then that's where i tow my bikes at so i can't put a light right there so that kind of sucks for me i think we're gonna have an issue later now that i think about it with this light because um the shifter cable is not like a bendable cable behind here and this is just pointed straight up in the air so i don't exactly know how this electric light is going to work very well I can't move it to this side because we got our phone mount over here. Or maybe I could put it back here. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But we're definitely going to have to get this working because this point is straight up in the air. So at night, we'll see how the stock lights look. And then we'll be able to see how this electric light compares to the stock light. Hey, it's not your turn, buddy. 
Oh man, where, where all the nasty crap is and we're on top of the 99 freeway in Ashland. If you guys ever come to Fresno and visit, you know exactly where I'm riding at. But I hate riding right there because there's so much debris over there. So we can easily get a flat. So far we're doing pretty good. I don't think we have any thorns. We don't have any nails. We don't have anything. And why is this car tailgating the car in front of them? They're not going to go any faster. Looks like, is it like an older lady or what? I can't get up there. Come on, bike, go. <laughs> we're doing 22 miles an hour, 21. I feel it losing power. Oh, 20 now. Oh man, come on. The Camry. I wanted to go see what was in the Camry. This bike's going slower and slower and coming up the hill. I told you guys in my review video, if you didn't see that, this bike is not very powerful. It's nice and smooth getting up to speed, but the actual power on this bike, if you have to come up hills, like if you live in San Francisco or anything like that, this is not gonna be a good bike whatsoever. It is a very heavy bike and you're pulling a lot of weight. This is basically just gonna be a bike for range if you're on flat ground and I'm gonna try to make this green light. Hold on, let me try to make it. Oh, oh God, I knew it, I knew it. I made it. Oh shit, we still made it. Uh-oh, I'm losing power. Oh, what the heck? I lost power. Did you guys see how the mile per hour is going down? And my hand did not come off the throttle. I'm not making this up for views. I'm wondering if going downhill, it was going too fast and it decided to cut off or maybe it got too, no, there's no way it got too hot. It's like, it has to be like 60 out right now. It feels super nice. I'm loving it out here. I'm not gonna be very happy coming home. It's gonna be super cold. It's probably gonna be in the 40s. But uh, that is weird. So it's not an overheating issue. I just wondered if it was just going too fast and it cut the power off. I don't know. That was very weird. But another thing on this bike too is that it doesn't go 28 miles an hour. They say on their website it's a 28 mile an hour bike. And I'm pretty sure if maybe you're 110 pounds or maybe 130 pounds or something. I'm 170 or 175. I don't know. I keep gaining weight. I've been eating a lot. But then when I got sick, I, I threw up a lot. So I don't know. Maybe I'm back at 170. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm at 26 miles per hour and the highest I've ever seen was 27 when I was coming down a little incline, like kind of the street right now. Look, see how we hit 27? It's because the road kind of went down a little bit. That's the most that I've ever seen, but it's not hitting 28 miles an hour for me. Now, I've never had any issues on any other bikes that I reviewed on hitting 28 miles an hour for my weight. So I feel like this bike is just not as powerful as it should be. I feel like they should have had a little bit more extra power. And like, come on, let's make this light. Let's make this light. Yes, yes, I made this one. All right, don't hit me, red car. I see you, I see you coming. I ain't stupid, I see all around me. It's cool because when you guys see the GoPro footage, I know it looks super wide, but you can actually see with a full face helmet, you can see like side to side. Now I don't have a half dome helmet. So if you guys have like a half helmet, you're gonna tell that you can see everything on the road compared to what a GoPro sees. So a lot of people are like, oh my God, you took off in the middle of that light and there's probably a car coming. I'm like, no, I can see, trust me. You can see if a car is coming. Now, if someone had their lights off and I'm going through a red light because no one's around, it's like one in the morning because that's when I get off at, at work. Then yeah, like, I mean, that would also be their fault too because they don't have their lights on, right? It kind of be double fault, but still I'm on a bike. So technically they would be in the wrong and not me. Oh, look, the doggy. It's a doggy. Doggy. Hey, doggy. doggy. Now, this is where the sketchy part comes up is uh, there's always cars in the bike lane over here. So this is going to be great. Kind of going around these. I kind of get it because these houses are right on the main street. But at the same time, like, you know, they only have a two car garage or whatever. So all their friends and family have to park out here. I'm just always worried getting very close to these cars or someone's going to open their door and smack. Like this truck right here, that Silverado. That was like in the road almost. It's like, man, it always worries me. That happened a long time ago when I was riding my Suron, maybe the first year I had it. And some guy just, he was like right above the freeway on Main Street. He just opened his door as I'm going over the freeway. Like, I'm like, what the heck? He literally almost hit me. And it would have been him in the wrong. I was doing like 30 miles an hour too, because we're obviously on a Suron, we go a lot faster. Scared the shit out of me, man. And a lot of people are like, oh, you're in the wrong. You're going too fast. You're on an illegal bike. You don't have plates for that thing. You shouldn't be riding over on the side. There was no bike lane. It's kind of like this. There's no bike lane, but then I can still ride on the side. I don't have to jump behind this car right here. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, kind of how that was. Seems like everyone brought their dogs out today. There's another doggy up here too. I always feel bad. I always see people waiting for the bus stop up here. And hey, look, another doggy. 
Uh, I don't have turn signals, sir. I was actually looking because I ride so many bikes. I was like, does this bike have turn signals? And it doesn't. Because he was looking at me like, are you going to turn? Do I got to wait for you? Because I think he could have made it before the traffic behind me caught up. But my bad, bro. No turn signals. There's nothing I can do. All right. Why does it look so busy today? It is after the holiday and the weekend. So what's going on here? Well, there's a bunch of trees in the middle, so I guess that makes a little bit of a s little sense. Oh, can I see? Can I see? All right. Uh, all right, so we got Christmas trees in. They do it a different way here. So they put them way out here while ours are at the front of the door, like on the sides. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, another thing we're going to have to deal with today, selling Christmas trees. All right. We are here, and... We got carts, ladies and gentlemen. We got 40 carts the last time I worked. And then I only worked two days out of, what, a week and a half because I got sick. That was all bad, super all bad. I had to use a bunch of sick time and everything like that to get paid. What's up, man? Why do you look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that we're here, let me see what our mileage is at so 15.8 miles and our top speed is 29.6 and that was coming downhill obviously and then the bike cut out so very weird but let me go park this bike and see you guys in about nine hours it's gonna be super fun all right ladies and gentlemen nine hours later and i'm finally ready to leave get my helmet on right now we got the gloves i gotta throw on got the beyond riders clothing on right now i feel very warm i got a sweater underneath this i got like an extra size up so i can put sweaters and stuff under these which feels really nice but when you don't put a sweater on it's a little bit big on me and a uh, funny story about that bike i'll get into it in a little bit but man that bike is jacked up <laughs> we need to move that thing out of the side because i don't want to have anything to do with that thing but uh I'll tell you guys in a second, let me uh, get on the way and uh, start getting out of here and check out all these lights and see how well the bike does. All right, so if you guys noticed as I'm outside right now, I did move this light on to this side and you can tell the reason why I had to because this is a hard line right here. But the bad thing about it is now my phone had to be lower on here, so it's not going to be that great. But it is pointed directly down. Thanks. <laughs> It is pointed uh, where it should be, so I think we should be all right. So I'm going to put my phone up here so we can still see the mile per hour. Oh, the paper's there. Yeah, he just threw it right now. Why Are you going to try to ride it? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, with no chain on there, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I mean, this is not electric, but it's, uh, it's a bike. Yeah. What kind of bike was this, I wonder? It says, does it say Mode 100 on it? That's what it looks like it says, is Mode 100. I don't know. It's not a good bike, though. I tell you that. Every center they got to go on this trip, bringing bikes out, like donating them to people who need a bike, and you get a hundred dollars <laughs> straight from the heart. That's hilarious. That looks pretty good too, man. Someone's gonna come snatch it up in no time, bro. As soon as we leave, someone's gonna grab it. You wanna try this bike out? Yeah. What's up with this one? All right. Let me get the light on real quick. Well, let me turn on my actual good light so you can see a little bit better. There we go. All right, it's, it's the same setup as the other one. It's a little slower because it's big and heavy, but it has a half twist throttle and it will just take off. The pedals work when you turn them as well. So it's it's in there, huh? That kickstand's way in there. <laughs> All right, cool. That gives me a good look at that brake light as well. Kind of see how that looks. Not too bad, actually. All right, it's time to get in his car and steal it. Let's go. He said he wanted to trade in last video, so I'm gonna jump in this thing and, oh, he has a club on it. He has a club on it. Hey, you can see my uh, helmet lights. Check that out. I love riding with these things so you can see me. Hey, no, this is nice though. Yeah, and, and if you don't want the seat in the back and you want a basket, you could put a basket in the back, but if you still want the seat, they have a basket that uh, hooks onto here. Really? And you can have a little front basket. See, I like this. Looks kind of almost like the Tesla sign. Though. It, it kind of does in right. a Tesco, yeah. yeah. I like the rims. Yeah, the mag wheels. They're pretty nice. I mean, this bike's heavy, but yeah, but dang, it's. Yeah. Did you try? Did you try lifting it up at all? Like lift up the the back. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, this is definitely it's heavy, but I mean, I think this is more for like cruising too, though. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. Just like. If you're like a like in your 60s, 70s, 
We'll, we'll stay at 60. <laughs> like if you're in your 60s, you can take your, you know, your your wife at 65 or something or older. Yeah. Hang on to the bag. A hundred bucks, that bike's gonna be gone in like. Maybe. Oh yeah, it'll be gone like within the next hour, I think. All right, man. All right, dude. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, I'll be. All right. Later, man. All right, guys, we're out of here. Always got to go through this damn puddle of water every single time. Go, bike, go. Come on. Hurry up. There's a car coming. He's going pretty fast. I need to get the hell out of here. I don't want to get ran over, but I keep forgetting this bike is definitely not the fastest e-bike. And really quick, I will get into uh, why that bike was over at my store. But before I do that, I forgot that after I was talking and bullshitting with you guys about a bunch of other stuff coming to work, the company wanted me to let you guys know that if you, for whatever reason, do not want, oh, this is gonna be the light that like has me sit here forever. If you guys do not want the rear seat in the back, you can always swap it out with a basket, right? And I said that in my review video. But if you also want to keep the seat in the back, they do have mounting spots in the front of this bike. There's four of them. And you can put a basket on the front. So it's interchangeable. You can have two baskets on this bike, one in the front, one in the back, or you can have the seat like I have the seat on the back and a basket in the front. So it's pretty cool that you have like some, you know, different options and whatnot. Another thing they wanted me to mention, and I believe I kind of made it clear in my video review is that when it was going out, it was going out on Black Friday or close to Black Friday, and they're giving a lot of free accessories with the bike. But does it mean that they're going to come with the bike when you guys see this video? Like you guys could be watching it right now as soon as it goes out. And if you do, drop a one in the comments. I really appreciate it. If you guys are seeing this video six months from now, the, there's probably going to be a price difference and all that kind of stuff. Like right now, as I'm making this video, if you go to their Amazon page, this bike is $14.99. It's way cheaper than when I reviewed it. It was $16.50 when I reviewed it. And that's crazy. A $1,500 bike with a 60 amp hour battery and they give you a bunch of you know other accessories now i think if you do order this from amazon you don't get the accessories and let me make this light really quick because last time it didn't get me all right cool last time it cut me off i didn't make it through hey there we go so anyways i don't think amazon gives you the accessory i could be wrong but you know again it was black friday when i posted that video and things change like all the time if you guys see the video two years from now you know and that's going to be really different so I'm just letting you guys know right now, the bike normally is $16.50. Right now as I'm making this video, it's $14.99, which is a crazy price. I would actually think about buying it if you use my Amazon link because my Amazon link actually gives me affiliate money from Amazon. It has nothing to do with the company, but it definitely really helps me out. And let me come in here. This is the neighborhood that I used the last time for the lights. And after I kind of adjusted the light, I'm actually uh, not mad about it. I kind of like the light. I don't want to go too far in here. I, lo I noticed the last time we did this video, it was like pitch black over here. And it's very hard to see. I was trying to edit like the colors and the shadows and whatnot of the video. But so here is the headlight. Not too bad, honestly, after I moved it, like I'm telling you, it's really not that bad. And even like that is pretty good right there. So. I'm not complaining about that. And that is your brake light. And you can see the ground when I do hit the brake levers, it activates like a brake light. When I saw my buddy ride it around, I kind of saw that myself. If you look at it, it's not too bad. I will say the light is very low compared to like everything on the bike. It looks like it's almost pointed down a little bit. It's not pointed up, but it's not too bad. I'm pretty sure I can come back here and bend it out of the way. Yeah, there's like a little bracket, but I'm not trying to break anything, but not a bad brake light, I would say. It's just not as bright as I feel like it should be when you actually hit the brakes, that's all. So now that you guys know how well this headlight looks, it's pretty good. It's a straight beam, like right on. There's no distance off to the side, so I can't see anything in the corners if it's like really like pitch black. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn on my electric headlight. You can buy these on Electric XP's website, and this is just gonna add a little bit of light. Now, it's not going to be the best light i'd say i still gotta move my phone down a little bit because look it's like pointed straight down but it's definitely helping a little bit but <laughs> this is just not the greatest handlebar setup there the handlebars are really short i should have mentioned that already look how close my hands are and my watch is doing a bunch of crazy stuff i should have turned it off i forgot newbie st oh come on bruh bruh i sat there too long showing you guys the lights 
and my watch is distracting me so give me a sec oh my god just turn off yes yes did i get my watch off it just it's stuck it's literally just stuck okay there we go all right the watch is off shouldn't bug us anymore bad news about me being here right now i just noticed since i didn't hit the crosswalk button we're gonna have to go across the street because <laughs> i didn't hit the thing and i'm not in the actual street this bike is just too slow and what are those girls doing you see a bunch of people like running right now they were they came from this van i think the van's alarm went off and i think they're just doing some stupid stuff that they probably shouldn't be doing oh god it's wet hold on hold on i don't know man <laughs> i don't know what's going on with that but i don't even want to know they look like little kids so let's go keep it trucking but all right, so back to what I wanted to tell you guys about that bike that was sitting at my work. Now, I can't really get too much in the detail. I'm sorry to keep you, you know, tagging along in this video and stuff, but we're still gonna like get you understanding what's going on. So basically this lady came in, she was trying to steal a bunch of meat and we saw her trying to steal a bunch of meat. Please don't hit me truck, please don't hit me truck. And when she went to leave, I guess she had a bike, but one of my other managers was like, no, you need to get the hell out of here. Like, I don't want to see you at the store anymore. You're trying to rob us and this and that. So she left, but we realized that was her bike. And I guess he said, no, I'm going to take her bike off of there and whatnot. And anyway, some guy was taking it off for her and I guess they were together. And I think he stole some stuff from our store too. Anyways, at the same time, my manager's like, no, no, we're taking this bike. So he's trying to get the bike. And that guy started fighting with one of my managers about like, this is our bike, this is our bike. I'm like, well, that was our product that you fucking stole from the store, blah, blah. Well, we took the bike and he just destroyed the damn thing. Like, <laughs> that thing is so beat up. Like, tires are flat, everything, man. But that's what they get. I'm getting tired of people coming into our store and just robbing us blind you know what i mean it's kind of like you want to take from us like we can take from you so that's basically why that bike was there but man it was just funny to see the bike like in the back i'm like damn what happened to this bike it was sitting on next to mine and the bike was all tiny and small the sprockets all busted in half the chains missing the tires are flat so that's basically the story basically someone was stealing from us and they left their bike there so it's now our property you want to steal our stuff we steal your stuff so I'm kind of cool with how this store gets down because compared to my other store, we weren't allowed to like do anything. And this store is so bad. If you really don't stop people, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. So I'm kind of glad that this store actually takes initiative and we have security too. Um, she came later in the day, but it's one girl and she just sits there and kind of mans the door. Like, There's still people that still don't get me wrong. Oh man, these tires going over this overpass. I feel like every bike I ride has this problem. Um, hopefully no one hits me while going onto the freeway. I hope not. I'm gonna slow down because I don't trust this car right here. I knew they would do that. See? I don't even think they saw me at all, so I'm glad I braked. All right, so anyways, other than that, I'm um, having a great time on this bike. And like my uh, coworker said, if I kept the clip in there, he said it's like a great cruising bike, especially like for older people. The only bad thing about this bike for older people is not a step-through design. And I know step-throughs make it a lot easier for people to like get on and get off. That's the only downside to this bike. But I will agree, it is a nice cruising e-bike. So that's what I would get out of it. It doesn't do 28 miles an hour like they say it should. It does 27 at the max I've ever seen. But realistically, it stays at about 26. Oh, my, my voice cracked. It's super cold out here. I got my, my visor up. And because if I close my visor, it's tinted. I can't see it all. And yeah, it's just really, really cold out here. I don't even want to get the weather app because we're trying to do a range test right now, which I will definitely... Uh, get back to you you know when we get back to the house but overall thoughts on this bike is that for fifteen hundred dollars i know i said it earlier but it's actually a really really good price for fifteen hundred bucks now here the question though is i actually like the anioki pro max better than this and i think that's just because i like the frame design better the only thing that I kind of like on this is the fact that this bike folds down and that's really going to appeal to a lot of people. But me personally, I don't need a foldable bike. So the Anioki Pro Max, I think is the A8. 
that is a very good 60 amp hour bike as well if you're not looking for a foldable electric bike especially this one's very heavy any bat any bike that has a 60 amp hour battery is going to be heavy as shit trust me but i'm just saying like it's definitely a lot heavier on this bike in the rear compared to the Antioki, the battery's right here so it's kind of center weighted so it actually feels better on the road whereas this thing I, i'm pretty sure yeah you could pop up wheelies and almost you can almost probably do a wheelie on this thing if it's powerful enough i'm pretty sure people that know how to do wheelies could probably do one easy because most of the weight is in the back but the Antioki one has its weight balance a little bit better and i kind of recommend that one more you can get that one on amazon as well i don't really care what bike you guys buy i don't even care if you guys don't buy a bike all i really what you guys to do is just like the video and if you got time drop a comment i really like seeing you guys' comments i can't get to all of them i see a lot of people saying i unsubscribed because i didn't you didn't get back to me and reply to me and i'm like i'm sorry but i can't get to everybody if i have like 600 videos on youtube when i go to the comment section like the next morning or whatever and i go see like your guys' comments on the new video well it's mixed in with my old videos as well so i'll get a comment from a video two years ago and, I, and then all your other comments are like way down there. It just goes off of recent comments. That's really how it goes. So that's kind of how I check my comments. So just so you guys know, all right, I'm not trying to be rude to no one. I like getting back to comments, but you guys also got to understand that I do have a full-time job, 40 hours a week. I have been requesting some days off, but I did end up in the hospital. I'll do a separate video and kind of talk about it. Maybe, I don't know if you guys want to, maybe I'll do it on my next one. I don't know. I really want to bring out the K6. That's the bike I really want to take to work one of these days, but man, it is so cold. I don't know how I'm going to feel. Oh, can I make it? Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to feel going that fast on the K6 at this time. It's crazy. And I want to give you guys an update on this bike since I am pulling into my neighborhood and I'm about to go over the mileage on this bike. And <laughs> it makes me laugh. This It's so funny because... So bikes like this need a voltage reading first off. They need someone needs to do it because that is not cool to have a 60 amp hour battery and have no voltage. Just battery bars, that sucks. But my battery bars, if you guys can see the little screen right here, still five. Five out of five. I haven't dropped one. Even going over the overpass, you guys could probably check the camera. I don't even think it went down a battery bar. So that is crazy. So what I'm gonna do is when I get over here, I'm gonna go on my phone and we're going to check and see how many miles I put. And keep in mind, I didn't pedal this bike. The only time I ever pedaled it is to show you guys the pedals. Why is my trash can right here? What the f That's weird. Oh, another thing on this bike is I noticed that the shock is leaking too. So not the fault with the company, but um, if you guys, well, if you guys can see that anyway, you can see the stickers peeling off. This got banged up pretty good in the box. So uh, make sure, you know, when you guys order your bikes and check them, because that shock is really leaking. And the good thing is it's just a shock, so I'm pretty sure they would just send you one. But anyways, all right, let's come up here. Oh, hold on, this is gonna be hard to see. So, oh, I did uh, 20.4 miles. So let's just say 20 miles, no pedaling whatsoever. And yeah, full battery bars. I mean, obviously we're not at a full 100% battery charge, but 20 miles and we haven't went down a battery bar. That's crazy. So I know they recommend 160 miles out of this bike. That is going to be in pedal assist one. You're probably going to be doing like eight miles an hour or something like that. So just keep that in mind. If you're in five, I would say you're probably going to get like 60 to like 80 miles. I would, let's just really realistically say like 70 uh, miles out of this bike if you were to ride it the way I was riding it. But keep in mind, if you are heavier, you're going to get worse range. So hopefully you guys like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys are true to peace for sticking around. And I am cold. I got to warm up, take a shower. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you when, I don't know, I drop something else. Maybe it'll be the K6. All right, later. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, because if you guys are waiting for the G-Force videos, this is the bike we're reviewing next. And then I do want to do another video on the C3 Strom. I can't even see. Hold on. So one more video on the C3 Strom at least before I get rid of it. That's why I have the charger on. It's just sitting here charging. And then a lot of you guys asked me about my Ride One Up Rev One. I saw that the Ninja just did a video reviewing it. Obviously, this is a 72 volt, and we ran into a bunch of you know problems with the bike. I did post it up for sale for 3,800 bucks, but then I took it down, or I don't know if I still left it up or not. But I just don't know what I want to do with the bike yet. Honestly, I'm thinking about just getting rid of it, and then I can start another project because 
If you notice, I'm actually getting rid of a lot of bikes in here. That's because I haven't been accepting a lot because of holidays, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I still have this bike. That's all I really wanted to mention is that this bike is still here. I just don't know what I want to do with it. I don't really want to take it apart and mess around with it anymore. I'm kind of done with it. The only thing I really wish it had was a chain, but I'm, I'm done with it. So next video, probably the K6 and then stick around for the G-Force. All right, now I'll let you guys go.